Hi everyone. Today I'd like to show you my new Everyday Carry kit. And I call this the Everyday Carry or EDC Utility Version 1. Why Version 1? Because it probably will change as I use it and it evolves into something better or more fitting for its use. We've seen a lot of videos on survival kits made from Altoid tins. Those are great. I use them when I'm outdoors, hiking, fishing, camping. However, it's very unlikely that we're going to need them in routine travel or just having around town or at work. Chances are pretty good that you will never use many of the contents of your survival kit when you're in your office or in an airport or wherever. So I've decided to address this with an everyday carry that's utilitarian, hence utility kit. So here we go. I started out with an Altoid type tin. This happens to be a Newman's own um, winter mint tin. I secured it with a nice rubber wristband. This happens to be from uh, the, the World Pack bag makers, NASCO. And if you know what World Pack bags are, you're, you might be a microbiologist. If not, it's a sterile bag used for sampling. Okay, here we go. I'll start at the top. I have here a piece of paper for writing and I'll get something to point it out with our ever useful toothpick. I've used some, here we go, I've used <clears throat> a little bit of NextCare gentle paper tape made by 3M for attaching it and that'll let me remove it on and off several times. So we have this piece of paper for writing. It's a little three by five card. I also have in here a flat, fully functional sewing kit. Move this down a little bit so we can see things. Okay. I also have a little square or rectangle of Gorilla Tape and I back that onto a <clears throat> non-stick surface from a pressure sensitive UPS label. You can also use wax paper. So I'm going to put this back in for the time being just to move it out of our way so we can see things. Here we go. Okay, so now the guts of the EDC Everyday Carry Utility Kit version 1. I like to start off with my little Zebra collapsible pen. These pens really write well, as do most of the Zebra ballpoint pen and pencil products, and it's very small. It's probably no more than, let's measure it, it's eight and one half centimeters, or three and one quarter inches, and it fits just perfectly into the Altoid tin. This is a metal pry bar I bought from eBay. It's made out of very stout metal. It won't bend. It has the wrench feature, the bottle open feature, pry bar, and the insert V of this pry bar is slightly sharpened. So you could use it to conceivably cut a piece of twine. Pretty handy little device. Then I have in here a pair of tweezers and these are Uncle Bill's sliver gripper and they actually are very good precision point tweezers. I bought them because indeed they do work and they don't bend and they come with a little holding bracket that keeps them in the compressed size. Here I have a small inexpensive pair of nail clippers. They're flat and they have a very good file and the way they work I can get my hands on you raise it up pull it back and you have a functional pair of clippers okay then I have a very nice Sol or SOL flashlight these I believe were about five dollars a piece which I think is a pretty good bargain I left the lanyard clip on there you never know when that's going to come in handy 
They also have a very small jeweler screwdriver, both a slotted or standard and a Phillips. This is braided fishing twine and it's actually known as a spider twine. It is very, very strong. In fact, this is probably some of the most stout and strongest twine that I've ever seen. And it's actually very difficult to cut, even with a sharp knife. I think this would come in handy. I think there's about eight feet on here, and this is a coffee stirrer. I have here three, or I'm sorry, two rubber bands, and I collapsed them and kept them inside of a little section of a of a wide drinking straw. This keeps them from getting too unyieldly and taking up space in your kit. These are two gum tooth cleaning picks. This is about four feet of green electrical tape, also on a coffee stirrer straw. This is about six feet of relatively thin gauged um, wire. It just happens to be red, but wire comes in very handy for a lot of things. Move this up now. Okay, let's get things in order so you can see everything. Now, the newest addition to this EDC Utility Version 1 kit is a little lighter. It's called the Dolphin, the 1989 Dolphin, and I bought this from a company online. I believe the name of it is Go Travel. Here we go. Works pretty well. <laughs> Works very well, in fact. It takes just a few drops of lighter fluid, um, and it also has a gasket, so it should not leak. And I left a little ring on it just in case. I have several toothpicks. This is a pack of toothpicks put together and bound by a little piece of paper. And some more standard toothpicks. Can't have enough toothpicks. These are Strike Anywhere matches, and I've coated the head with clear fingernail polish. Then I have an assortment of safety pins, both large that aside. Large and small. Here is a loony stick. I've used these in the past and they've lasted at least 24 hours, but I've had a little bit of light coming out of them for a full week, seven days, but they're very useful. They give you light in case you need a consistent light and don't want to burn the battery of your flashlight. An assortment of gem clips or paper clips. A straight pin, a little length of probably about two feet of cellophane tape or scotch tape, clear cellophane transparent tape on a coffee stirrer. Getting a lot of use out of coffee stirrers. I'll put the Leatherman aside for just a second. Here are two buttons. This is another toothpick, and I'll make a note on this one. This toothpick actually is made out of bamboo, and it's very, very strong. And then I have three different sized twist um, ties, plastic ties. One is small, one is medium, and one is large. Finally, I have a butterfly closure. This is not a first aid kit. I have a separate first aid kit that I actually travel with and keep in my car. Um, this is not a first aid kit. I put that butterfly closure in there just in case you need to join two things, not knowing what they are. They could be skin, but what I had in mind was just to have something adhesive that you could use to attach two materials together. And finally, I have a about an eight inch section of pretty stout wire not as thin gauge as this. Alright, put that right here. And 
can't really see it, but this is a rare earth magnet taken out of a Philips Sonicare toothbrush. I'll put that back in. Sticks very well to the tin of the Altoid container or the mint container. And this is a Leatherman Micra. Now there are many videos on YouTube explaining what a Leatherman Micra is. Basically, it's a multi-tool and its main feature is a good pair of scissors. The alternative it would be a Leatherman Squirt, which has the main tool being a pair of pliers and a small scissors. This is a larger scissor and it comes with some other features including a pretty good pair of tweezers and then a combined Phillips and slotted screwdriver. This does work in a Phillips head and a bottle opener and a little small screwdriver or probe. On the other side we have a blade and a larger slotted screwdriver that's actually beveled on the end, you might be able to see that, and a fingernail cleaner and file. That's the Leatherman Micro. Okay, so I am going to zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. And this is the contents of the EDC Utility Kit Version 1. Thank you.